Hey guys and welcome to Happy Rider Reviews. In today's video I got my hands on the all new iClever 10,000 milliamp core jump starter. This device also doubles as a power bank which means it can jump start your core, SUV, trucks, lawnmower, tractor, motorcycle and also jump start your phone, power up your tablet or any devices that use the standard USB cable. So before I demonstrate and show you how this actually works, let's go ahead and dig right into the unboxing and show you everything that comes inside the box. The first thing we have is the warranty cord and the user manual. Next is our 10,000 milliamp portable jump starter, a micro USB cable to recharge our jump starter, and finally we have the jumpers cable. When it comes to the size, this unit is so small that you can actually slide it in your pocket and have it with you at all times if you want. So it is 3.1 inches this way, 1.1 inches thick, and 5.1 inches long. And for a better size comparison, here is my iPhone X. And as you can see, the battery is actually shorter than the iPhone X. So that's very nice. So super easy for us to carry anywhere that we want. Starting with this side, we have our power button. Over here we have the LED flashlight which features three different modes. You can leave it on constantly, slow flashing or in an emergency state which flashes it a lot faster. LED indicator showing us how much battery there is left in the unit. USB input which allow us to recharge our battery on our phone, iPad, tablet or pretty much any devices that uses this standard USB input. And here's the micro USB input which allows us to recharge our battery here. So it does take some time to fully recharge this little unit right here. So I would suggest you to leave it overnight and recharge this. And after you fully recharge it, you can actually leave it in your car. And it is good on standby for up to an entire year. So very long standby time and here is our jump start port right here so to see how much battery there is left in this unit simply press the power button once and as you can see there the LED board lights on showing you that it is absolutely full right now and to turn on the flashlight feature simply hold down the power button for about three seconds and the flashlight will turn on so this is in constant on mode and you can hold it down for another three seconds to turn it into flashing mode. And hold the power button down for another three seconds to turn it into emergency state mode, which will flash a lot faster. And to turn it off, simply hold it down for three more seconds. And there you have it. And to charge your devices, simply insert the USB cable in here, plug in your phone, tablet, or whatever device that you need, and then hit the power button and it will start to charge. The same goes for when you want to jump start your car. You want to actually connect the jump start cable on here first, and then connect the red and black in into the car. Once you have that set up, then simply hit the power button on here. After that, within 30 seconds, you want to go ahead and start your car. And once the car starts running, you want to actually turn off the power on this device and unplug this side first and then remove the red and black part from the car. So now how strong really is this unit? So it has a 10,000 milliamp battery inside with a 450 amp peak. This means that it is powerful enough to jump start any vehicle with an engine size up to 4.5 liter if it is a gas engine or a 3.0 liter diesel engine. In general terms, this unit is strong enough to start most vehicles unless you have a huge truck, RV, or super 18-wheeler, then you want to have something bigger. But other than that, this will start most vehicles. When it comes to recharging this portable jumper unit here, you can actually recharge it like I have here in my house, or you can actually remove this side of the USB and plug it into your computer or laptop. It will also charge that way. Or if you have a micro USB core charging cable, you can actually recharge this device while you are inside your car. But I typically just leave it charged like this overnight. And once it is fully charged, I can leave it in my car for up to a year. So now let's go ahead and put this portable jump starter to the test and try to jump my dead core battery. Now to find out exactly what size your engine is, just open the hood of your car and look on top of the engine here. So I have a Honda Odyssey van and it has a 3.5 liter gasoline engine. So this uh, unit right here has enough power to again jump start up to a 4.5 liter gasoline engine or a 3.0 liter diesel engine. So as long as your engine is 4.5 or below, this jump starter will actually work. So now let's go ahead and jump start my van. So I'm 
quite impressed with this little unit right here. It is actually powerful enough to jump start my Honda van. Now I no longer need to ask anybody else for help or to use this cable anymore. So the next test I'm gonna be doing is to actually jump start my lawnmower because it happens to die also when I bought this little jump starter. So why not put it to the test? Now a very important part you need to know is this. So when you plug the jumper cable into the portable battery here, let me go ahead and show it to you. You will see the light starts to blink red and green like this. In order for this to start working properly, you will have to hold down this little button that is right here on the jumper's cable. Hold it down for a few seconds until the light changes to green. Once this light changes to green, then you can actually hit the power button here turn this thing on then you are actually ready to turn on the engine on the mower on the core or whatever it is that you need to jump start so so there you have it guys this little thing is powerful enough to jump start my van jump start my lawnmower with no issues at all whatsoever and as they stated you should be able to use this to jump start your car up to 30 times now personally i would not count on this to jump start 30 times to be honest i would actually always make sure that it is fully charged but after jump starting my van and my lawnmower it still has a uh, pretty much full bore of battery still in there so it's saying that this thing is still fully charged but i would still probably charge it up just to be on the safe side so guys i will leave a link to this in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself i really like it and i do recommend it so thanks guys for watching and i'll see everyone in the next video